hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same outfit as in the previous video it's because I'm filming a bunch of them so I can put them up because I'm already late with a lot of them and this one is gonna be my empties video for the month of June, August oh my god it's already September holy crap the time goes by so fast and this is my little bag of empties and in it i have a little smaller bag and not a lot of empties this month but a few or enough at least uh, i have been sick for the biggest part of the month so i haven't been using that much and i actually have separated my makeup empties from my skincare and other kinds of empties because apparently people like to watch makeup empties more than the other ones so I'm trying that now this week and this or this month actually and for me I have two makeup empties this month and the first one is a mascara the colossal go extreme volume from Maybelline in the color very black and this is what that one looks like I was really happy with this mascara actually I used the crap out of it and there is nothing left and the big wand is just up my alley this is like the perfect kind of wand that you would wish for. I really liked it and I decided to buy some new ones, other ones to try out, just to try out something new and I'm not as happy with them as I was with this one so the odds are that I'm gonna go back to this one if I don't find something better than this. I really really liked it. And the other empty that I have or my other makeup empty is a uh, lip gloss. Uh, Absolute Shine Lip Gloss and this one is a mini one. I don't know what the brand is. I don't know nothing about it It's a very like if you see on the bottom here where it looks like there is something left the little white part That's what the color was from the beginning, but I used it over some pink lipsticks So I painted off the other parts, but you can see I used the crap out of it like there is nothing left in it at all and what looks like it's something a little bit on the bottom is actually just around the glass. There is nothing in there. I even took out the stopper and I really like the shade. I liked it over dark lipsticks to lighten them up a little and I loved it but I got it with a newspaper as I said and I don't know where it's possible to buy another one. But I really did enjoy it. And that was all for my makeup empties. Now to go to my regular empties if you are still interested in watching. And the first one is my Deep Cleansing Nose Strip from Pure Derm. And this is what this one looks like. I used it. I loved it. I used it before. And I have a few more left and I cannot wait to use them. I actually think this is like if I'm considering any skincare product or any facial masks or anything. I think this gives the best results because you can actually see it's removing your pores and cleansing everything. So I really like this and I would recommend this for everybody who wants to try something new if you haven't tried this before. The next thing I have is wet napkins from Sense and there are 10 of them. I think I bought this from H&M but I'm not sure this is what these ones look like and they were they had a really nice floral scent to them and I didn't use them in the makeup related stuff. I used them to carry around in my bag and clean my hands before eating or whatever if I wasn't anywhere near a toilet or something like that and also it was really good to clean my hands after work I love these for that and I have some other brands now or some other kinds right now that I'm using and I'm really happy with just a little pack with 10 pieces in there um, would recommend if that's something you feel like you need to have then comes my favorite facial cream from Nivea and it's Soft face, body, hands, refreshingly soft moisturizing cream. And this is what this one looks like. I think everybody knows what this is. And honestly, I really like this one. I think it smells so fresh. I use the crap out of it. And super fresh scent. I really like this for my face. Both evening and morning uh, as a morning routine. It's 200 milliliters. It lasted me for a long time. It is a very good price and I cannot wait to buy another one because the cream that I'm currently using, even though it was given to me as a gift with purchase, the scent on that one is bothering the crap out of me. And this one was so amazing. I've used it for years and years and years and I truly cannot say that I have found any better moisturizing cream 
no matter the price like whatever brand I've tried this is like really really good and I would definitely recommend people to try this I know a bunch of people think this is crap but for me it's really really good and I love it I just really love it and I will definitely repurchase the next thing in here is a toothpaste from Oral B 123 anti carious whitening and freshness this is what that one looks like I used the crap out of it it was okay I used it one used up one of these in July as well and currently I have another one I am not picky when it comes to toothpaste and as long as they leave my mouth feeling fresh I really couldn't give I couldn't care less um, I liked it would I repurchase it probably if I find it on some really really good pricing but otherwise I can skip it as well, it's nothing special. The next thing I have in here is a little sample from Eve's Watcher. The Vert or the Toilette, I think it was green tea scented and it just, I mean, it gotten bad before I even had the time to use it. So for me, it's a no. I would never buy a scent in this scent. Like, it was already too alcoholic in the sample itself, so nope. This one is a big no-no. And then I have from Oriflame Nature Coconut and Rice Milk Nourishing Hair Mask. Uh, 150 milliliters or 5 fluid ounces. This is what this one looks like. It was really good. It smelled like coconut and rice milk really. It was really good for the hair. It was giving back a lot of moisture and it was a nice hair mask. I would consider buying it again and it really smells so good I love the smell of coconut so this smells so good but I would not like waste my time trying to find it if it found me somewhere I would buy it but otherwise no it's okay I can live without it I know stuff that are better than this uh, then I have another thing from Eve's Rocher Chardines du Monde uh, soft shower cream uh, mag with the scent magnolia flower from China and this is what this one looks like and yeah this one is it was okay it's completely empty the scent was okay nothing special and will I repurchase it I am kind of purchasing these every now and then when I find a really good price on them because I do think they smell good and they do their job they make my skin clean so I do buy them when they're on extra cheap price, but otherwise I don't waste my time finding them. If they come by mail and they're extra price, low, extra low price, I buy them. Otherwise, no. And this was honestly not my, not my favorite scent when it comes to these, this kind of uh, things from Yves Rocher. And then I have, what do I have? I have another sample and this one is from Yves Rocher as well and it is Elixir 7.9 Youth Energy Day Care. It was a kind of a day cream of some kind and I guess it was okay but I used it for a few days and yeah I could not see any difference between that and Nivea so I would not waste my money buying something expensive when I have a cheaper alternative that I like even more than this. And the last thing in here, and then we're completely empty, is another sample. But this one is a perfume sample from the body shop. It's Fijian Water Lotus Eau de Toilette. And it's 1.5 milliliter or 0.05 US fluid ounces. This is what the packaging looks on the outside. And the bottle, little bottle is on the inside. I really like the packaging. I like the fact that you could squirt out the perfume instead of pouring it out on yourself. I like that. The smell though was really really not something I liked or appreciated and I would never buy this. Never ever. What I used this one was like my emergency perfume in my bag or I used it as a room spray. Uh, not as a perfume on myself too much because the scent is extremely strong and for me who doesn't like this scent it was horrible too be around it. I'm glad it's done and I would never buy it at all. Like I would waste, not waste my money on this at all. And 
that concludes my empties for the month of August and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.